For judgment I have come into this world, so that the blind will see. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. After saying this, he spit on the ground, made some mud with the saliva, and put it on the man's eyes. Go, wash in the pool of Siloam. So the blind man went and washed and came home seen. They brought to the Pharisees the man who had been blind. Now, the day in which Jesus had made the mud and opened the man's eyes was, was the, the Sabbath. Sabbath. Therefore, the Pharisees also asked him how he had received his sight. He put mud on my eyes, and I washed, and now I see. You give glory to God by telling the truth. We know this man is a sinner. Whether he is a sinner or not, I don't know. One thing I do know, I was blind, but now I see. What did he do to you? How did he open your eyes? I have told you already, and you did not listen. Why do you want to hear it again? Do you want to become his disciples too? <laughs> we are the disciples of Moses. You are this man's disciple. We know that God spoke to Moses. But as for this man, we don't even know where he comes from. Now that is remarkable. You don't know where he comes from, yet he opened my eyes. We know that God does not listen to sinners. He listens to the godly person who does his will. Nobody has ever heard of opening the eyes of a man born blind. If this man were not from God, he could do nothing. You, who were steeped in sin at birth, how dare you lecture us? And they threw him out. Jesus heard that they had thrown him out. And when he found him, he said, Do you believe in the Son of Man? Who is he, sir? Tell me so that I may believe in him. You have now seen him. In fact, he is the one who is speaking with you. <sighs> oh, Lord, I believe. <laughs> 